this video we're going to go over installing the Fishbowl server. There's a couple things you need before you can install the Fishbowl server. The first one is you need a server computer. Fishbowl comes in two parts, a server and a client. And the server is where the data is stored. So the server must always be running for any of the clients to log in and work with the data. So before you install the Fishbowl server, you need to make sure that you're installing this on a computer that will always be running the Fishbowl server whenever you want anyone working in Fishbowl. The second thing you need is a license key. I've got my license key here in Notepad. You'll probably be getting yours in an email. You'll just need to have this with you when you're going to be installing the Fishbowl server. So to install the Fishbowl server, first we need to go online and download the installer. So what you'll do is you'll open up a web browser and you'll go to www.fishbowlinventory.com and once you navigate there you'll get to a home page that looks like this. Now to get the installer you're going to hover over support and you're going to go to software updates and you're going to fill out this information here on the right. Once you fill out that information and hit submit, it'll take you to the downloads page. Once you're here on the downloads page, you'll see all the different versions of Fishbowl that we have. Now the current version is always going to be on top. The current version of Fishbowl uh, for this recording is 2015.2. So I'm going to click on 2015.2 and it'll give me all the different kinds of installers that I have. Now, the server is always going to be running on a Windows machine, so you need to know if your machine is 32-bit or 64-bit. I'm on a Windows 7 machine. For this and a lot of other Windows machines, you can check by clicking on Start, right-clicking on Computer, and then hitting Properties. Now, down here, I can see the system type is a 64-bit operating system, so that will be the installer that I download today. If you're running Windows 8, all Windows 8, uh, operating systems are 64-bit so you'll go ahead and download that. I'll click here it'll go ahead and start my download make sure I know where it's downloading to so that I can run it for the next part. Alright now that I have my installer downloaded from the website we're going to go ahead and run that to complete the install of Fishbowl. So I'm going to double click on my installer Alright, so this is the first screen of the install wizard. What this screen does is it gives you information on everything that's going to be installed along with Fishbowl. So I'll go ahead and click next. Here is the user license agreement. Go ahead and look through this, agree to the agreement, and then click next. Now here we have 14 day Fishbowl trial or current Fishbowl user. If you have a key, then you're going to be going current Fishbowl user. And for this install, we're going to be going with server with client. Now, to install a client, it's the exact same process as before, but instead of hitting server with client, we're going to hit client only. We're still going to download the installer, run it, but on this step, we'll hit client only. But since we're installing the server, we're going to go ahead and hit server with client, and then click next. Here's the install directory. I'm going to go ahead and keep it on the default install directory and hit next. Now, these are options for what you can automatically start up. I'm going to go ahead and hit automatically start the server on the login. I recommend everyone else do that. The other two are optional. Don't really need those. Once you've done selecting your options, you'll go ahead and hit next. Here we have our desktop icons. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the sales point icons and the quick launch icons, which leaves me with a server and a client desktop icon when I'm finished. And then I'll click next. Now Fishbowl is going to go ahead and install the software with all the settings that we provided in the installer. And once it's done with this, it's going to ask us for our license key. Alright, so after all that's done, it's going to ask us for that license key. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my license key. And I'm just going to copy and paste it in. So the company name must match what we have on our files here at Fishbowl. And that will be sent to you with the key. And then the easiest thing is just to copy and paste the key in and then come down here and click next. All right, so we know that we're done. We see that we have two desktop icons over here now for the Fishbowl server and the Fishbowl client. This is the last screen on the wizard. So once I go ahead and click finish, I'll be done. 
And what we're gonna do in the next video is we're gonna go over the fishbowl server, how that works, and take you on a little tour of that.